Right friends, welcome back to Learning Space. This is English Made Simple. This is the 20th module. As usual, let us first look at some words and subsequently a small part of the passage. First word is abreast. There are two meanings for this word. First is next to each other and either moving in the same direction or facing the same direction. This picture gives you clarity with regard to the usage of the word abreast. What is the second meaning? Second meaning is you are up to date about the latest developments. For someone to become successful and also to reach higher positions in the software sector, they must be abreast of the new software releases. That means they should be well informed they should stay informed about the new developments in their field. Look at the next one that is abstruse. The meaning is difficult to understand and not understood by many people. For example, mathematical formulae in the higher education arena. Look at this example. Many students lose interest in higher education when they see abstruse mathematical formulae, difficult mathematical formulae. Look at the next one, consolation. When some team plays very well in a tournament, even though they lose the final, semi-final and all, they get consolation prize. That means something that makes someone who is sad or disappointed feel better. For example, she lost her husband and one can only offer a few words of consolation, right? And look at the next one, something that makes someone who is sad feel better. That means this is the second example. The first example I told you, in fact, with regard to the tournament, I told you the first example. Second example pertains to her and the third example is... Look at this statement. In the recent edtech sector layoffs, there are several layoffs took place in the edtech sector during the past two years. He lost his job, but the consolation is that he got another job at half the salary. He got another job, half the salary. It is a consolation, right? So, consolation means you are disappointed, sad, but that news makes you something better right over broad over broad means too widely applicable excessively broad that means for example with regard to restriction of fundamental rights normally fundamental rights are restricted by the executive so therefore there is conflict between the fundamental rights enjoyed by the citizens and the restrictions imposed by the state so whatever rules and regulations are there whatever statutes are there to limit the fundamental rights they should not be over broad they should be narrow it should be specifically mentioned in the statute here you see the legislations affecting fundamental rights of citizens should not be over broad if these are over broad then what happens the government will get a lot of power if there are vague references like sovereignty of the country, security of the country, integrity of the country, then such type of words, they can be interpreted in any way by the government. Whatever way they want, they can interpret. So therefore, various legislations restricting the fundamental rights of citizens, they should not be overbroad. Omission. Omission and commission, this is quite often used. Omission means when something is required to be included, but not included. When something is not required to be included, but it is included. Such type of things are called omissions. Recently, there is a bill with regard to appointment of chief election commissioner and election commissioners. In fact, in that bill, what is proposed is executive majority. The Prime Minister, Cabinet Minister and in the three-member committee, 
when the prime minister and the cabinet minister are there then the executive majority because of that the government will be appointing the ceces so therefore here omission means such type of legislations are example of omissions whatever is required that is not included similarly whatever is not required if it is included then also you can call it omission look at deemed deemed means you consider this in a particular way in fact previously there was concept of deemed forest but now the concept of deemed forest has gone away with the forest conservation amendment act 2023 in fact prior to this act subject to certain conditions when the area is not officially notified as a forest if it is having in the sense of forest that means if it satisfies dictionary meaning of the forest prior to this particular act when the forest satisfies dictionary meaning of the forest it is considered as deemed forest though it is not classified as a forest in the books of the governments that is deemed and look at another example with the increase in the violence caused by drug cartels you see equador this is the country tucked between colombia on one side peru on the other side and this is pacific coast and do not forget galapagos islands galapagos islands are situated somewhere here it is off the coast of equator galapagos islands are known for the biodiversity and let us come back to the discussion recently the drug cartels violence increased in equator so you can say equator has now deemed unsafe considered unsafe so when somebody is traveling to equator normally people say it is deemed unsafe right though officially not declared by the government as unsafe but because of the drug cartel activities it is considered unsafe it is judged in that way by the people then subserve that means to promote or to further somebody's interest now you see the media houses as far as india is concerned several media houses yet present are aligned with the particular political ideologies and because of that what happens the media houses are subserving these political parties that means they are promoting the political parties normally media houses as well as newspapers these are not supposed to promote particular political dispensation but when they are aligned with some political ideology they are promoting that political ideology so subserve look at another example here you see when we do light exercise it is medically proven when we do light exercise it subserves digestion that means it promotes digestion it enhances digestion look at the next one watch dog what is watch dog that means organization or person responsible for making certain that companies obey particular standards so competition watch dog is competition commission of india it looks at various anti competitive practices that means when the cement companies are coming together there is a collusive behavior among the cement companies and when they are increasing the cement prices unreasonably then this watchdog competition commission of india will come into picture and controller and auditor general is the expenditure watchdog as far as india is concerned right and look at the next one preempt see the bahanaga bazar accident around close to 300 people lost their lives in bahanaga bazar accident near balasore in odisha around few months ago and normally when the railway minister is not talking to press what happens it may lead to several apprehensions and to prevent 
such type of criticisms in the media railway minister came to the forefront and he clarified several things he preempted criticism in the media he told whatever happened so he preempted various apprehensions criticism in the media and here you see companies should preempt negative criticism you see several products are there like lace as well as various other products which are considered to be unsafe to the human beings because of addition of certain compounds and when you are marketing such products you should come out transparently so as to preempt criticism when you are hiding something everybody will comment this is unsafe that is unsafe come out with proper labeling that is preempting criticism that is preventing somebody else to criticize your activities right friends after learning these words let us look at one part of the editorial that is indian express 29th september and evergreen revolution dr m s swaminathan who was considered the pioneer as far as green revolution is considered he passed away recently and in this context this evergreen revolution is the title given for this editorial in fact he is the man behind green revolution in our country and ultimately now he is batting for evergreen revolution because he understood the drawbacks of green revolution high fertilizer usage heavy water usage benefiting the rich farmers and concentrating in certain parts of the country only because of that he is now batting for evergreen revolution and the editorial says as we go forward scientists view point must be given prominence most fitting tribute to ms swaminathan would be to restore centrality of science and scientists in agriculture because some of the government decisions in recent times the rationalists are talking about without much basis especially zero budget natural farming and various properties of cow dung cow urine though there may be some properties but government should come out transparently when they are promoting something that is what one section of the opinion says and ms swaminathan may not have developed the high yielding wheat varieties high yielding wheat varieties which made huge revolution in 1960s 1970s they may not have developed by ms swaminathan yes they were developed in this mexico by norman borlaug legendary norman borlaug he developed these high yielding varieties of wheat and legendary what is the meaning of legendary he is admired lot of prize the people who ever are admired they are called legendary persons from all spheres they get lot of prize and admiration and these seeds were developed in mexico by norman borlaug so these may not have developed by ms swaminathan that ushered in that means because of these seeds green revolution during mid and late 60s since 1965 onwards this green revolution started ushering what is the meaning ushering means something a fresh started some change started so you can say the economic reforms of 1991 they ushered in new form of governance in our country and digital revolution that means with aadhaar digital payments were ushered in you can say so something new beginning in that context you can use usher in the varieties that farmers sowed were originally bred that means breeding took place in mexico by the legendary norman borlaug even the subsequent blockbuster varieties blockbuster means highly successful when you talk about some movie blockbuster movie 
so highly successful movie so such as kalyan sona sonalika that produced amber colored grain with better chapati making quality these were bred by madhur kohli athwal not as well known in the public imagination these were developed by some other scientists who are not into public imagination many people does not know about these scientists though ms swaminathan has not done these things he is not associated with the development of these varieties but still his contributions are remarkable from different perspective swaminathan's key role was in recognizing the potential of new genetic strains responsive to increased fertilizer and water application and devising a coherent strategy for their introduction and large scale planting by the farmers that means his strategy you can say these varieties were not developed by ms swaminathan but when you look at his success that success is because he convinced everybody with the planting of the new varieties and here you see coherent strategy because for the introduction of the new varieties it requires coherent strategy that means all must be taken on board you have to convince all people you have to plan in a meticulous way that is what you call coherent strategy because the new varieties were developed this dwarf varieties of wheat they were developed in mexico and some high yielding varieties they were developed in india by some scientists but ms swaminathan is at the forefront for implementing this strategy of large scale cultivation by farmers through his coherent strategy he was a rare combination of someone who was abreast with the latest developments in agricultural sciences that means he is having good knowledge about what is happening globally abreast i told you a short while ago software sector the employees must be abreast about the latest developments on similar lines you can understand dr m s swaminathan is a rare genius who was abreast about various developments globally he knows about american researchers wheat genes and also who could also work through bureaucratic and political establishment for translating his strategic vision into farmers fields because you see you have to convince bureaucrats you have to convince ias officers you have to convince the prime minister ministers chief ministers so he worked through bureaucratic and political establishments so that his vision is translated onto the fields of the farmers so this is about a small part of the passage which appeared in indian express after the demise of dr m s swaminathan who passed away at the age of around 98 or so and this concludes the 20th module please to join for the 21st module have a nice day thank you